All right, so problem number two will be either a moment about a point or a moment about an axis. Now, read the problem statement very carefully. Uh, so this one, for example, is moment about a point. All right, so we're going to do moment about a point, moment about point A, express a moment as a Cartesian vector. So the uh, first thing that I'm going to write on my test is moment about point A is, what's the formula? R cross F, right? It's R cross F, and I know that, oops, <clears throat> I know that this R right here needs to go from the point to the force, right? That R needs to go from the point to the force. And then this F um, is my vector broken into its component form. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and do the R. Uh, what is an R that goes from the point to the force? So in this case, we're going from point A to the force here, from here to here. All right, so how far does that go in X? And that's kind of what I asked myself. How far does it go in X? Three. How far does it go in Y? Four. How far does it go in the K direction? Positive four. Am I going to divide it by its magnitude? No, because this call, my equation calls for an R. It calls for a length. It calls for a, it's kind of a moment arm. Uh, this needs dimensions. This is not a U, right? So don't divide that by its magnitude. This one is an R. Uh, it needs the units there. It needs moment has units of uh, Newton times meters, and this R is what gives it the the meters. So anyway, there there's my R. Now remember, sometimes you have some options for R. Uh, this one I don't think we really had any options. We needed to go from the point to the force, so we need to go from A to that point uh, right there. All right, now I need to break this force into its components. I can't just say 50. I need something I, something J, something K. So what are, am I given? What am I given? I'm given that angle. I'm given that angle. I'm given quarter direction angles, but I'm only given two of them. How can we find the third? Well, cosine alpha squared plus cosine beta squared plus cosine gamma squared adds up to one. So I can say cosine of 130 squared plus cosine of 55 squared plus cosine of what I'm looking for. I don't know beta squared adds up to 1. So, you know, subtract those. The other side of the equation, cosine beta squared should be 0.2578. So take the square root of both sides. Now, this could be positive or negative. This could be positive or negative. Um, and so my calculator is going to, if, if I use the positive, I, I'm going to get beta is 59.5. Let's, let's see. Uh, if I had used the negative, I would have gotten beta is 120.5. Which one of these is the correct answer? Uh, you need to be careful because uh, if you just take the positive square root, um, your answer, your calculator will always give you the acute angle, but it could be its uh, supplementary angle uh, right there. Uh, you have to tell from the figure whether it is obtuse or acute. This one is a smaller angle. It's pointed towards the right. I think we can tell that in the y direction, it's going to be the, the 59.5, not the um, 120.5. All right, so now that I know that third angle beta 59.5 degrees. Then uh, these are quarter direction angles. What do I do for quarter direction angles? F equals Fu, where U is cosine alpha I plus cosine beta J plus cosine gamma K. So this force would be the magnitude, 50 newtons, times cosine of 130 in the I, right? That's it. Um, it's coordinate direction angle, it's alpha, it's 130 from the x-axis. Uh, cosine of 59.5 to the j-axis and cosine of 55 to the k-axis. Multiply that through and let's get F in its component form. All right, I've got negative 32.14 in the i plus 25.4 in the J, plus 28, 28.7 
in the case. So, so that's my force right there. All right, so now I've got my R, I've got my force. I kind of like to you know, look at that equation and break it into two small problems. First problem, finding the R. Second problem, finding the F. I like to write a little check mark. Now I'm ready to do the cross product. I'm ready to do the determinant right here. So this determinant, the moment about A, would be I, J, K across the top, uh, the R, right? It's R cross F. You gotta do the R, then I gotta do the F. So R is three, four, four. The F negative 32.14, 32.14. Uh, positive 25.4 and 28.7 <clears throat> and do this cross product. Here's how I like to do the cross products. I think we've done a lot of them in this class. My I is that minus that, right? It is 4 times 28.7 minus 4 times 25.4, all right? And then plus, sorry, 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 minus this J component. Why that minus? That's just the definition of the a three by three matrix, three by two, three determinant. Um, it's this one. And I do the minus so that I can do this minus this, which is normally what I like to do. Kind of write my X right there. That minus that. Three times 28.7 minus four times negative 32.14. Be very careful with these positives and negatives. Right, it, it, it's minus, and there's a negative, and there's a negative right there. You, you know, lots of opportunities to make mistakes, so just don't, don't make them, and then you'll be good. All right, plus this k component, and it's that minus that. Right, three times twenty-five point four minus four times negative thirty-two. Point one four. There we go. All right. So my moment about point A is, and here, if you round, uh, you're going to get a little bit. There's going to be kind of a, a range of numbers depending on how you rounded and how I rounded. So, but I've got positive thirteen point two in the I, minus two hundred fourteen point seven in the J, plus two oh, I think four point eight. In the K, I need units. I, I like to write my units out here. Units are Newton meters, not Newton slash meters. I would take off a point if you said Newton divided by meters. It's Newton times meters. So there's my moment about point A for this type of uh, for problem number two on this final exam.